available now on 4K and Blu-ray from Blue Underground is uh, Jess Franco's The Marquis de Sade's Eugenie, The Story of Her Journey into Perversion for the family. Uh, the, actually, the on-screen title for this is uh, Marquis de Sade's Philosophy in the Bedroom, which sounds classier and not classy at the same time. So this is another film by Jess Franco. I reviewed another Jess Franco film that Blue Underground put out simultaneously with this one, which was Justine, which was surprisingly good. I had always heard that Franco uh, was just a terrible filmmaker and the uh, the commentary, they really try to refute that as much as they can in this. Um, and a lot of what I'd seen of his, I didn't really care for. So when these two releases came out uh, simultaneously from Blue Underground, I was very curious. I'm like, oh cool, I can see these that I've always heard of that supposedly are some of his better movies and uh, I can see them looking as good as possible. And they do, they look fantastic. This 4K transfer looks gorgeous. It looks as good as this film, I can't imagine. Sometimes these transfers are so good, they look better than the films did in the theaters like opening weekend, which is really cool. They, 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 they sort of peel back layers of time and, and the barrier of time with a film being accessible to you. Obviously, I can say they look like they were shot yesterday and sometimes these do. They still look like old movies because of how they're shot and how people dress in the cars and all that, but they, they look really, really good. So um, what is this film about? It's not for kids. What is this film about? Uh, film opens with a woman and her lover, and she basically convinces her lover to give to her his daughter. She wants to buy his daughter with sexual favors so that she can take his daughter off to her summer place where she and her stepbrother will basically drag her down into all of these lurid uh, sex games and things like that. And uh, it's not explicit. This is from 1970. So not that explicit movies didn't exist in 1970, but this is, this is Euro sleaze. This is, this is an R-rated movie, basically. This is the kind of stuff that would have and may have played on like Cinemax After Dark back in the 80s or HBO or Showtime late at night. It's, it's, it's not explicit in any way. It's just a lot of nudity and a lot of uh, adult themes, as they used to say before a movie would start on HBO. And adult themes was always the, the thing. It's, it's like, okay, I'm a kid and my parents are gone or they're asleep and I managed to get the, the remote control and I'm gonna watch HBO and I wanna watch something dirty and oh, it's rated R, okay, that's great. Okay, uh, nudity, excellent. Nudity was great, but then when it would say adult themes, you'd be like, well, is that talking about like mortgages and stuff? Is, I mean, what is adult themes? Anyway, <laughs> I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Eugenie the story of her journey into perversion. So uh, Eugenie basically goes into perversion. So she is given as this gift to this couple and basically they keep drugging her. And, I mean, they're trying to get her in to do little salacious things here and there and then they drug her and they have their way with her in a very artistic way. <clears throat> it, it, it's not too scandalous. Eventually we find out that this couple is part of this group, this cult, this sect, whatever, the, headed by Christopher Lee that is into worshiping the Marquis de Sade and, and, and enacting his beliefs and, and making his visions real and all this kind of stuff. So uh, that's basically the story of the film. It's as classily done as something with that subject matter can be done. Uh, the cast is very good. Beautiful score by Bruno Nicolai, great, uh, great Italian composer who did uh, Justine as well. And uh, it's a really nicely made little film. It's just, you know, kind of salacious and crude and inappropriate a lot of the time. Uh, the star is Marie Lilhall, who was in, I believe, the Inga films, or film, which was a big sensation in its day. And, you know, in, in saucy films of the late 60s, early 70s, uh, Maria Rome is in it, Christopher Lee and Jack Taylor. Jack, Maria Rome is the, the female of that uh, deceitful duo, and Jack Taylor is the brother. Jack Taylor was in a ton of stuff at this time. He was in uh, some Franco films. He was in a lot of Euro horror, Euro sleaze. He's in the movie Pieces. He's in, uh, I think, I guess, maybe he was in Conan the Barbarian, too. He's in a lot of stuff. Now, supposedly an American actor that went to work in Spain. There is an extra with Jack Taylor on here, which is fabulous. And he talks a lot about his, this film and about his career and uh, speaks fluent, perfect to my ear, Spanish. So I, I was actually hoping to hear him speak English because in the movies he's always dubbed or the, all the movies I saw, he was always dubbed. And I was kind of excited to hear what his voice really sounded like, uh, which I did, but it was just him speaking Spanish. So on the 4K, <clears throat> I get really choked up when I talk about Jack Taylor. 
on the 4K disc, disc one, you have the movie, you have a uh, new commentary by film scholars Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson, who also did commentary for Justine. You have uh, the original trailer, but it is reconstructed. This is, uh, they took the original trailer and it's the original audio, I believe, from the original trailer, any narration that was there in the music, but it is all shots taken from the new transfer and any on-screen titles are video generated titles. I'm personally not a fan of that. I always wanna see, even if it's beat up, unless it's like a smeary VHS transfer, I would like to see an actual original copy. You know, they do their best to make it look like the old, but it just, it takes me out of it when I'm seeing like video transitions instead of opticals and when I'm seeing video titles instead of the original titles. Disc two is the Blu-ray. So you get the same film on a Blu-ray, not 4K. So if you don't have a 4K player and you want this set, you're benefiting from that new 4K transfer. It won't be 4K resolution, but it'll look fantastic. And uh, you can play your Blu-ray and just keep the 4K disc, the, the same extras that are on the 4K disc, they've done it really well. The same extras that are on the 4K disc are on the regular Blu-ray, so you're not missing anything if you can't play that 4K disc, it's just a separate disc. Uh, and then what you get here is same commentary, same trailer. You get a uh, newly expanded poster and still gallery. I say newly expanded because this had been released by Blue Underground before on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, it's 158 images. Some of those images are title cards that say posters, and then there's posters. Uh, and what, what are these comprised of? They're comprised of posters, advertising materials, which is like press books and ad mats and things, lobby cards, black and white stills, color stills, video and soundtrack releases, and book covers for Marquis de Sade books or, or for this book, the book this was based on. You get interviews with Jess Franco before he passed away. He's been gone for a while. Harry Allen Towers, I think it's the same case. And Christopher Lee, he's definitely dead. That runs 17 minutes. And the stuff with Lee is great. And they talk about this in the other extras where he claims in later years that he had no idea that this was gonna be a saucy movie. He did this film as a favor and everybody standing behind him in the scene was fully clothed. And when they said action, they took all their clothes off and did what they did. And when they said cut, they put him back on and he turned around and he never knew anybody was naked behind him. Sure. And then you have Stephen Thrower, biographer of Jess Franco, talking about Eugenie for 18 minutes. And then there's that new Jack Taylor interview, which is a half hour, it's 25 minutes of Jack Taylor. Pretty late, I'm guessing. I'm presuming Jack Taylor isn't with us anymore uh, because the age he looked at in this, I can't imagine he lived a lot longer. But it was really cool to see him. I have a fondness for Jack Taylor. I used to do a horror host show for many years. And a lot of the films that he was in in the early 70s as far as we knew, we're public domain, so we wound up running a lot of Jack, a lot of Jack Taylor, a lot of Helga Linné for some reason. So we who worked on the show became fans of those people because they kept popping up in the movies that we had to choose from. At any rate, this is out now on 4K UHD and Blu-ray from Blue Underground. This is Eugenie, the story of her journey into perversion. <laughs> 